I've got a challenge for you. I want you to define yourself by three labels, but only three labels. Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Martin Cliff here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Um, and about five weeks ago, I put out a video saying about why I hate labels or are labels really something that define us? Are there are they boxes to restrict and limit us? Um, and in that video, I talked about three labels that I am comfortable with. But I want to challenge each of my viewers to think really hard and to come up with only three labels to define themselves. And the reason for this is that I think too many of us latch on to labels that limit us but also limit the way we interact with other people um, so maybe you know we say we are vegetarian perfectly good label to be um, and now that might help you to not be in situations that could be awkward but is that you or is that just a word to describe your diet or life choice? I'm using that as an example because that's not a particularly um, yeah, strong and scary one. You could use many other things that would like that maximalist, if you will, I'm not taking my usual trap. Um, I don't know, there, there are so many things that you could that you could choose to label yourself with, but do they define you? Are they a core part of your being or do they put you in a box? So for me, it kind of, there are, I think three areas that if we put one label on each thing, what we do, who we are, what we are. Now, let me explain. The three labels that I used in my last video that I, I'm going to keep using because they are the labels that most define me are musician. That's what I do. You could argue it's what I am, but musician, yeah, I, I make music. My, my life revolves primarily around making music in some kind of way. Whether that's actually composing and, you know, producing music, um, whether that's just listening to music and, you know, embracing, you know, actually, yeah, taking in music, putting music out, um, whether that's getting involved with gear focused podcasts or whatever it is, it's all still music related. And in fact, one of the key things that I always try and do in those interactions is put the focus more on the music than the gear. Just personally, I think that's a more helpful way to be. So, musician. Not going to say specifically guitarist, because I play bass and drums and keyboards and I sing and I compose and I arrange. But musician covers it. Second word I use to describe myself, Christian. Who I am. At the core of my being, who I am. Whatever else I attach myself to in a kind of slightly uncomfortable concept of labels has to be viewed through that. If I am minimalist minded, but that's because I look at you know, the, how that ties in with my faith and I say, yeah, that works. Jesus was a minimalist. He even said, if you've got a spare jacket, give it to someone who needs a jacket. Paraphrasing slightly. Take only what you need with you for the road. That's pretty minimal to me. So that fits in. But also, yeah, that affects my approach to how I respond to other people. Yeah, you know, maybe I don't 100% agree with the way that other people choose to live their life. 
but does that mean that I should not love them? Does that mean I should not care for them? Does that not mean, does that mean that I shouldn't be welcoming and hospitable to them and you know, do what I can to benefit their lives? No, because that's all part of sharing the love of Christ with them in some kind of small way. And that is one of the key facets of being a Christian. Now, I'm not going to say Methodist or Baptist or nonconformist or Catholic or any of these words that limit Christianity because Christian is about a relationship between a person and God. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all the same thing, kind of. That's a whole <laughs> complex bit of theology we're not going to go into. But Christian, there is no perfect church. If there was a perfect church, don't go in it because it won't be perfect anymore. But we're striving to perfection in a relationship with God so that we can show that to other people and bring them into, at the end of the day, an eternal future that is better than the future without that relationship. So Christian, it's a label. It's a label I'm comfortable with. It doesn't limit me, but it gives me a viewpoint to, per to perceive the rest of the world and the other labels that I attach myself to. And then the other one, what am I? I'm a husband. My relationship with my wife is the most important relationship in my life on this earth. My relationship with God is more important, but I, Eva and I got married both as Christians in a good relationship with God and we have maintained that and we hopefully strengthen each other's faith in our relationship and we are husband and wife, that's what we are. As I say, we don't have children. Um, if we had children, then I would also be a father. And that might be an extra label or just be part of the family man label, I guess maybe I could. Okay. We don't have that. That's just how it is. But I am a husband. My relationship is important. By the time this video goes live, you should have seen, again, about a month ago, I think. It's really hard because I'm kind of filming a few weeks before the videos that I'm talking about happening a month ago would go live. Um, but yeah, hopefully, I'm hoping that round about the time of our 20th wedding anniversary, Eva and I will be able to sit down and film a video together uh, and talk about some of the challenges and some of the amazing things that have happened to us in our life in eight years in Hong Kong and a year in Bucharest yeah, in, in the ups and downs of life as we've both had struggles we've both had amazing opportunities we've both had amazing experiences individually and together during that time but we've been there to support each other both to celebrate the highs and to reinforce when things are low that's a huge part of me. So what three labels define you? And if you can't narrow it down to three, use that to help you. Use that kind of guide of, what do you do? It's not the most important bit of you, but it's part of you. Who are you? What are you? Just something to think about. Take care guys, see you next time. All the best.